हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप टूडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई वी एम एस फोर पॉइंट फाइव प्रो नोवी कैम सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू दैट वॉट इज आई वी एम एस फोर पॉइंट फाइव ऐप एक्चुअली इज वट आर इज फीस एंड फंक्शन देन आफ्टर विल टेल यू दैट हाउ यू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल ऑन योर मोबाइल फ़ोन एंड आफ्टर दैट विल शो यू दैट हाउ यू कन फिगर द डिवाइस हाउ यू हाउ यू कन फिगर टू मेक द कैमरा लाइव एंड एबल टू एक्सेस ऑल इट फीचर सो कीप वॉचिंग टील एंड प्लीज लाइक शेयर और वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल नाउ एज फार एज आई वी एम एस फोर पॉइंट फाइव प्रो नोवी कैम ऐप is concerned it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your mobile phone it is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet and by using this app you can also you you can by using this app you can see the live view of the camera not only the live view but also you can see the multiple channel at a time you watch the recording of the cameras to take the snapshot of the video you control the ptz camera to save the live view of the camera you can adjust the image parameter like color brightness etc to take the backup of the recorded videos and many more okay now for installations you should open play store and search for ivms 4.5 pro here you find your app ivms 4.5 pro novi cam so you all i already installed this app earlier so that's why i get this cloud like option otherwise you should option like get okay so whether you should click on the get on this cloud like duck option it is start downloading and installation process to be begin it is totally automatic process you don't need to click anywhere once it is successfully installed you find the option open now click agree now click okay now here you should find so this is the interface of the app now first thing you should do you should log in or register so for login you should use your username and password and click login okay now just click registered and join us and click okay and here just click your mobile number and enter your password now click get security code now enter this captcha again Now wait for the security code. Here it is. Just click finish. Now it is login. Click cancel. Okay. Now here you should click on that, and after that you find the option like scan QR code. When you click on this, it start scanning. Okay. So if you are in front of the device, and you should go to the option. advanced network setting and advanced setting then then go to the option platform access over there you should find the option that qr code scan the that qr code or or if someone send you that qr code you should select from the your gallery so in this way you can add your device okay now the second option is manual adding here you find two option like ip domain you should enter your device name and here you should enter your local ip address and again it asks for username and password so don't be confused here you should enter the username and password of the device device you are adding it may be dvr it may be nvr okay and after that you should find the option manual adding okay so again just click on the ivms pro domain then it asks for a serial number so basically serial number is the number 
which you find on stick on your sticker uh, on your camera or dvr and vr box or it, it it stick on the sticker on the dvr and vr when you turn around otherwise you should find your uh, app find from your login your device and even even this app and even on the online okay so i will let us tell you that how you connect by using a serial number so by when you connect by using a this ibs 4.5 pro domain then you are able to access your device from anywhere okay now third option is online device so just click allow and here you should wait so if your mobile device and your dvr and vr is on the same network then it is start now here you won't show anything after that just click on this now click on manual adding and select ibms pro domain and here it is for a serial number i noted it down serial number so just note down the serial number let's see. now click save okay this device is already added so just click on unbind Uh, if you are adding a home camera just click on the home device home camera or home dvr or uh, if you are coming office camera then factory camera just just the rename according to your easiness so that you can easily remember between the devices and click save when you do this you find that device comes like that just click on that your camera comes live okay now just click on the manual adding and after that click on the ibms 5.4.5 pro domain and here it has for a serial number serial number is the number you find on your the, on the box of the device means uh, box of the dvr nvr or ip cam and even you want find on this sticker stick on the on the device means dv uh, dvr nvr or ip cam you find a sticker over there you find a serial number so note down that serial number even you can uh, find your serial number by logging your device and by using this app and by using by logging on web browser so there are different way you can choose according to your easiness after that i noted down my serial number and here you should enter that serial number and click save now after that you find that the device look like like this click and add and after that verification code so verification code when you log in your device and go to the net, net, network setting advanced network advanced option and then go to then go to the platform access over there you should find a verification code you should enter that ver verification code and in my case i just use that verification code and click okay and now click next and now i should rename my device according to my easiness like uh, if you are adding a home camera just click on the home device home camera or home dvr or uh, if you are coming office camera then factory camera just does the rename according to your easiness so that you can easily remember between the devices and click save when you do this you find that device comes like that just click on that your camera comes live okay now what you i will tell you each and every option one by one so first option is starting from the just beside the camera screen from the uh, right side first option is the or orientation option just click on that your camera comes in the landscape mo mode again you click that your camera comes in portrait mode after that you find the four square button basically it is to for change the view for example if a single camera view you have a nine camera view just check according to your need okay and after that click hd or sd okay now you find that your cam if you click hd your camera become more clearer but it take lot of bandwidth if, if you click on basic your camera become less clear and it take less bandwidth and after that you find the speaker right out uh, speaker option just click on that if your camera is audio enable then you are able to hear the voice of the camera and if you want to save the live recording a live view just click on that okay and after that you find the playback option just click on that and here you should change the date for example if you want to check the recording of the 28th 
just click on that and wait for a few second here you should find the recording shows in in blue color for example i want to check recording of 1 pm then i should scroll down like that and in this way i can check the recording and even i can fast forward from this 1x button even i scroll take a screenshot even i can download it okay like this like that okay like this and like this and click download your cam your your recording start downloading okay and after that here is a screenshot button just click on that your camera take it will save your screenshot in your mobile phone and after that if you, if you want to record the live view of the camera just click on that and your camera start recording and green color button like just blower the ipc blinking when you again stop that your camera again start showing uh, it's, it, it uh, if you again click on this button your uh, recording stop and after that you find the uh, mic button when you click on that it shows you shows that device and ip cam just click any any de device if your device is uh, mic button when you, if your ca device is audio enabled then you can do and after that you for cam you want to control the pdz camera last option is, is that for, is for that click on that even you want to pan and tilt you can preset and you can you can more do do that you will just change your camera 360 degree and more you can zoom in zoom out all the thing you can do from here so that's all for this device thanks for watching thank you have a nice day